This Florida family has defied all odds when it comes to housing a wild animal at private residence. If you thought our last month's coverage of a Russian family taking care of a giant grizzly bear was stunning, this post will surely knock your socks off. The Welda family from Florida has been herding bears for the last few decades. Here's how everything started. Currently, they live with 13 bears and a young cub, making it a whopping 14 bears, which is definitely a lot to handle for any household. However, as Weldas recall their experiences, they couldn't be more happier to make the bears a part of their family, daily chores, and whatnot. It all started over nine decades ago when Johnny Welda Essar moved to the U.S. from Norway. He was known in the family for someone who was fascinated with bears. The old man had a track record for training wild animals, and since policies were a little lax in 1940s, he was allowed to house a few bears at the family's private ranch. Several years later, the small number of bears started growing, so much so that the Weldas had to call in extra support from distant family members to keep the bears in order. Needless to say, some days were rough, while others serve as a vivid recollection of training bears and preventing them from going extinct in the U.S. Last year, Johnny Welda Essar passed away, unfortunately. It was a devastating blow which also threatened renowned Florida's family tradition of keeping bears on the ranch. Obviously, it is not easy taking care of a 1,000 pounds grizzly bear, or a black bear for that matter, when you know that these animals have a wild side. They can go berserk any time, and frankly speaking, we've all had enough of bear attacks in the past. Therefore, taking on such a daunting task on daily basis is not only hard, but also comes with life-threatening possibilities. The Welda family was determined, and to this day, they carry the tradition of keeping bears and training them to defy all odds. 57-year-old Monica Welda, wife of late Johnny Welda, continues to look after their furry friends with the help of her son, Johnny Welda of three. By the way, Johnny Tuihu, who is the youngest member of the Welda family, also actively partakes in taking rides on the bear's back. Meanwhile, the pack of bears couldn't be more happier to play and train with their human companions. The Welda family residence is commonly known as the Baradise Ranch in Florida. Locals from all over the vicinity drive over to the ranch to get a good view of all sorts of bears meddling with bystanders and the Welda family members. The mother-son duo has had their share of challenges, but they think that bears are not as bad and dreaded as most people think, since over the last few generations, the bears have somewhat become domesticated, they are a lot less likely to have mood swings or harm humans for that matter. Still, the 14 bears are kept in a reinforced enclosure where the Weldas have barricaded the entire Baradise Ranch to prevent any mishandling or other unforeseen incidents from taking place. On top of that, the Welda family is licensed to take care of bears, which not only allows them to pet bears at the ranch, but they are also called out whenever expert help is needed in Florida. It seems that nothing has slowed down over the last few years except for Joni Welda Asar's death. The 27-year-old grandson recently said, My grandfather came to the United States in the 40s and we did a lot of different venues over here involving bears, TV shows, and movies. Johnny Welda J.R. further said, My grandfather was performing somewhere with a couple of bears, and a talent scout saw me leading a bear when I was just three years old. The scout said that if that bear can work with a little boy, it can work in Hollywood. Although fame was part of the Welda family, as they are still the only licensed party allowed to domesticate bears, there are a lot of challenges involved in fulfilling this duty. The bears have never harmed anyone from both inside or outside the family. However, these bears have given the 57-year-old Monica Welda and her son a few scars here and there. Despite of a few setbacks every now and then, the Weldas show no signs of abandoning these bears or turning them over to the wildlife authorities. All 14 bears live in the back garden of the Baradise Ranch, where the habitat is made up of spring ponds, makeshift obstacles for bears, grass and trees, etc. Monica is confident that her 27-year-old son will continue to take care of the bears the same way as the late Johnny Welda himself did. Despite of her old age, she says that she will continue to look after her furry friends as long as she's physically able to do so. Monica said, I have spent 37 years with these bears and I plan to as long as I am physically able. I will work with the bears until I grown very old and feel confident that they will be taken care of after I am gone. As for the 27-year-old Johnny Welda Jr., he had plans of pursuing a day job, but since taking care of 14 bears requires a hand-on responsibility, he has decided to put other plans on hold. 
If you have any animal rescue stories or a heartwarming tale of wild animals living with humans as domesticated pets, don't forget to reach out to us through the comments section. We'd love to hear more from you.